Hey everybody, it's Gavin Time. Hope you're having a good night. Let's talk about tips because this tip thing is getting pretty out of control. Now, you guys may have seen my video on this channel from a while ago. This is a few months back, right? Where so if you guys can take that off there and I'll, I'll leave you a tip on the I had the cops called on me. What's that? I had people because they tried to do a mandatory tip. Okay. Okay. And this is that video. You can find it here. Okay. I'm not happy about it. He said I said take it off the bill. Take the tip off the bill. Right, but I just want it off here because I'll I'll leave a tip separately, but I don't do a tip as part of my this is my bill here. Okay, this is a house policy for this. House policy. But I didn't agree to pay a mandatory gratuity. House policies. Your policy doesn't mean that I have to pay money. Oh wait. No, no, no. This is house policy. Oh, it's house policy. Policy that I don't pay tips. So totally. I don't, oh. I don't pay mandatory wait, wait, wait. gratuity. What? Excuse me. I don't pay mandatory Excuse me? gratuity. That's my policy. Someone's questioning yeah, us. This is a restaurant policy. So I'm sorry. Is he, I'm sorry. Is he, is he, is he questioning uh, house policy? Eso es la. Eso es la. China Norte es un restaurante. Eh, no puedes preguntar. No puedes pon duedas en la poli políticos de la casa porque vamos a hablar con la la cartel y chingarte. No, this was in the United States, guys, not Mexico. We don't tolerate like this in Mexico. That's not my idea and charge you a little bit. And so eventually they called the cops. Did you have a contract with me before I... I don't know about your contract, but I know it's in his menu. You can, go, you can watch this video. A lot of you guys have probably seen this video. He said, oh, it's in his menu. Now, ultimately, I left without submitting to the cop in any way or telling him what I did. I had always intended to live a tip for the server because I wasn't unhappy with the server at this particular restaurant. But what was not okay and the reason I made a scene is because they put it on my ticket. So the thing is, you're like just supposed to follow the rules. All the, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of everybody expecting you to follow the rules. And if you don't, they're like, oh, stop making trouble. I'm like, I'm not making trouble, you idiot. These fools that are constantly telling us what to do and thinking they can control every freaking aspect of our life, they're making trouble. The people in uniforms, these psychopaths murdering people on the streets and arresting us for nothing and extorting us, they're making trouble. I'm not making trouble for wanting to be free. And I've said this for years because they've always said, Gavin, you just want to make trouble. I'm like, no, I want to enjoy myself and my family and my travels. You know how frustrating it is to be a guy that knows your rights and everywhere you go, someone tries to screw with you and you're like, you know what? No. And they're like, what? and they just freak out. How dare you question us? I'm sick of it, and I'm sick of it on this tipping thing. This tipping stuff is out of control. Look, at, I just saw this recently, right? And this was on the news. Self-checkout machines are now asking for a tip. Are you kidding me? So first, they don't wanna pay the employees, so you need to pay more tips. Then they don't want to pay the employees, so they put self-checkout machines in, even though half the time it's longer to stand in line at the stupid freaking self-checkout machine than in the other one. So you go to a Walmart. Am I ranting yet? This is the Gavin Syme show, by the way. You're in the main show. We had a, we had a pre-show. If you guys hit the bell button and the like and you subscribe, you can be in on the pre-show because we talked about all kinds of other fun stuff. But I want to focus on this tip thing for just a freaking minute because I'm tired of it. Everyone's tired of being tipped to death. Oh, you have to give tip. Oh, you're a jerk. Look, I give tips and I'll explain in a minute why, but it can't be mandatory. So self-checkout machines now have even started asking for tips. And I'm like, this is, no, this can't be real. Yeah, it's actually real. Self-checkout machines, like do you want to leave a 20%? To who? Well, the idea is like this, this is dispersed among the employees as an incentive to them. If you want to incentivize the employees, why do you have 20 lanes in Walmart and two people working in a line that goes out to Tennessee? Why? I can't, like I'm a customer service guy and I'm in charge of, of like customer experience, service and quality control at a, at a restaurant here in Mexico that I consult for. And my job is to make sure everything is up to a high standard. And, and, and I want the people at this restaurant to get tips, right? I'll come back to that in a minute. And so I'm, I, I understand tipping. I understand that servers, they value getting tips, right? 
But you know what? Yeah, provide no service, James, and ask for money for good service. It is insanity. And so what, what is this? Like what world? I gotta stop being so excited because my throat's gonna get dry. What world do we live in? I, I, then I found this today, I'm looking around. The latest rules of tipping. Like tipping has gotten so out of control that you need to read a guide. Let's, let's look at some of the things the guide says, okay? Tipping, it can still be confusing. The common advice says tip tw 10 to 20%, right? 65% of US adults tip their server. That's fine if you wanna tip your server. I don't have a problem with that, okay? Um, you gotta calculate it. Look, at, look, look you, you have to have a degree. You need to go to school to know, to be able to take your girl out to a restaurant because otherwise you'll be labeled a jerk and they'll wanna get in a fight or even call the cops on you because you don't give them extra money other than what's written on the menu, right? How much to tip? How much to tip at bars? A dollar, tip a dollar per drink. Heck, I pay a dollar for a drink down here. Why would I wanna pay 100%? A dollar is what I expect to pay for a beer. How much to tip at coffee shops? Oh, we get less. Why is it all these arbitrary rules? Why if someone's working with, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. So if it's like a restaurant, you're supposed to give them more money because there's food involved. A bar, there's alcohol involved, you give them. A, a coffee shop, you give them less. Delivery drivers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Delivery drivers of food you're supposed to pay, but not delivery drivers. Most people don't pay delivery drivers of furniture. So if a guy brings you, a, if a rappy brings you a burger and fries, he needs 20%. But the dudes that just, just threw out their back, taking a 300 pound refrigerator into your house, those don't usually. Only a few people tip them the furniture delivery guys. These guidelines, I mean, like they're so complicated. How much to tip at hotels? Uh, this was probably written by AI anyway, so I don't even know like, if you should believe it. How much to tip at weddings? 20 to $50 per server. Um, I, don't, I, don't even, I don't even spend 20, $50 to take the whole family out. Well, that's about what I spend down here in Mexico to take the whole family out to a restaurant is $50. Um, look, so let's get to the bottom of this. And I, on this video, you can watch my other video on this. Let's first just end this. A tip is voluntary, period. Anyone that tells you a tip is mandatory is an asshole. Any restaurant that tells you a tip is mandatory. And people on this video that got quite a few views, they're like, oh, but no, right? Gavin, Gavin, you can't do it that way. You have to tip. And I'm like, no, I don't have to tip anything if I don't want to. I don't have to tip. You don't have to tip. And I'm tired of people being this and she gets even more. What is going on? I can't even get the right video to load. Now I'm just now I'm just losing track of things. I'm closing that window and I'm closing that window. You guys can watch the tipping video, I'll link it in the comments if you haven't seen this video where the co cops call them. And, and people's main argument was like, if it says on the menu, that's binding. Absolute BS. Guys, stop. Let's look at what tip means, okay? Tip. There's a lot of different things, right? Ah, here we go. A gift or a sum of money tendered for a service performed or anticipated a gratuity. That's, it's slang. Tip comes from the word gratuity. Now people say tip is to ensure prompt service or something. That's nonsense. Like a tip, there may be lots of acronyms that have been invented for it, but a tip is a gratuity. What is a gratuity? Something given voluntarily or beyond obligation, usually for some service, especially tip, added a gratuity for the service, for the server. Something given, let me read that again. Let's just make sure we're clear on what a tip or a gratuity is for the people out there that's like, it's on the menu. Something given voluntarily or beyond obligation, usually for some service. Guys, I get that a lot of these servers are working hard. They don't get paid well, even if they should be. Now you could say, oh, they can quit their jobs and stuff like that. But we're talking about real world. People are trying to survive. If you go somewhere and you can afford it, and the person is doing good work for you, by all means, give them a tip. I'm not here to say, I know some people in the comments are like, oh, tips have to end forever. And there's a lot of cultures that don't tip, right? And if you feel that way, that's fine. 
I do kind of feel like a jerk if someone does a good job if I tip. But this article that I was just showing you was like, even if you get bad service, you should tip at least 10%. I'm sorry, we're giving a voluntary gratuity for a service. If they gave us lousy service, why exactly? Why exactly should we be tipping, right? It's supposed to be voluntary. What happened to that? So if someone says, oh no, it's on the menu, you have to give it and you and it, there's a fine print at the bottom of the menu. There's a fine print at the bottom of the menu and it's like, hey, in groups of two or more, in groups of one or more, in, in everyone, in groups of six or more. I remember them doing this in the States years ago and I was like, this is BS. I'd walked out of restaurants for it. There's a mandatory gratuity. Guys, I don't care how many times the menu said it. I don't care if you see it you can completely ignore it. That is absolute bull. If, if you come into my store and I say, oh, here's my price list for fixing your car, right? Here's a price list for oil changes. And you're like, cool, I want an oil change. And afterward, I'm like, oh, your car is mine. Because see this print down here, it says, if I change your oil, you now rent your car from me and I own your car. You can't put some crap in the bottom of your menu because you have no concept of customer service. And this is what I tell people at this restaurant that I work for down here. I'm like, you will not put tips in people's faces. You will not charge people for everything. If you give good service, and down here in Mexico, it's, it's, a tip is rarely more than 10%, okay? So it just keeps going higher. The tips are higher and higher and higher. And look, I don't care if it's takeout. I don't care if it's coffee. I don't care if I sit down. I'm going to base my tip on how much service I got, right? When I go to the taqueria and they treat me well, I usually leave them 50 cents. And they know me and they like, and yes, if you go to a place and you always tip good, they're going to like you more, guys. These people are working. They're trying to make a living. They would rather be out playing also. Like I get it from the server perspective because I work with servers. I want them to be happy. I want them to feel energized and giving good service, right? So sometimes I'm like, come on, you guys, give these people tips. They're doing good work for you because there's not much tipping down here. But I'm not gonna turn around and like put it all over the menu. My, the, in fact, I've said, no, we're putting on the menu, tips are always voluntary. If you liked your service, the employees enjoy your tip. If you didn't like your service, please send an email to the owners, right? So yes, there's ways to encourage tips, but I wanna encourage tips in a way that the, the people that I'm supervising and that I'm in charge of the marketing for and stuff like that, I'm telling them, look, you give them a smile. You, you be attentive. You bring them their ticket fast. You respond when they look up and they're waving at you. When they enter, you say hello. You start a conversation with them. If you want a tip, you earn that tip. And I, I'll have places, it's illegal to make a mandatory tip. Uh, the consumer agency has been like, no, you can't force a tip. A lot of places will try and put a tip on the ticket. They'll be like, grat tip, gratuity, whatever they want to put. And they'll put it as part of the ticket. And I will make them take it off. I'll be like, what is this? And I'll say it. I'll be like, ¿Qué es eso? Es, eso es, uh, and sometimes they'll try and give it fancy wording and crap. And I'll be like, pero ¿qué es eso? ¿Qué es esta parte? And like, what's, what's this on my receipt? Because if you put a price of this costs five bucks on the menu, you don't get to raise the price. I don't care what lines you have in the menu. That's nonsense. It's not legal. I don't care if somebody in the comments claims they're a lawyer and that that's binding. It's not binding. It's BS. Say no. If they bring you a ticket, if you're at a self-checkout, say no, right? Especially these things at a self-checkout. You really think all that money is getting back to those people? No, it's something they programmed into the machine and they're probably taking a cut of it. It's something to make them money. Because that's what these kind of things always are. These softwares, these, right? You, you don't even own a car anymore. They want you to have subscriptions. You can bet that if they're putting these kind of things into these automated machines, they're getting a cut of it. And the employees I deal with, right? Everybody prefers tips and cash, right? The employees down here, they're, they're not going to pay taxes anyway. But if it goes through a credit card, a lot of people are going to take a percentage out, right? I don't. In the people that I work with, I'm like, no, the employees are working hard. If they get a tip on a card, we're giving them that money out of the cash register. That's how it's done, okay? Now, most places would say, no, like you have to pay taxes out of it, or we have to take the fees out of it. I'm not gonna do that to them. I'm gonna, the, 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 the restaurant's gonna eat it for the sake of the employees and trying to encourage the employees, okay? So 
I see people all the time like, oh no, it's, it's in our policy. You heard in the video, it's in our policy. I don't care what your policy is. Your pol I don't work for you. Your policy is irrelevant to my rights. And down here where the culture is a little different, they're not expecting 20% tips all the time. They will try and add it to a ticket. So if you come to Mexico and they add it on a ticket, never mandatory. And, I, and, and even if I'm intending to give a ticket to make the point so that they stop doing it, because I want to start, we need to start training these business owners now. You're not going to screw us over. We're not going down this road. No, we're not tolerating it. And so if they bring me a ticket with a tip, I will say, what's this? Oh, that's the tip. Take it off. I said, it's illegal to put a tip on my ticket. And I'll usually, if the server was good to me, I'll be like, hey, I'm going to leave you a tip, bro. But you take that. Oh, no, it's, it's hard. No. And actually, I've never had them try to call the cops or anything on me down here like they do in the US because they know that's not going to fly. You, a tip is not mandatory down here. And so what I'm saying in all this is not, hey, guys, never leave tips. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying tips are a service. You know these guys are probably not working for a lot of money if you're in the US, if you're in most places, right? But most of all, you know that if they're taking care of you, they're serving you well, they get paid, right? And, and these companies shouldn't be like, oh, we're not going to pay a decent wage. They have to earn it in tips. We're going to pay you a fair wage, maybe not a high wage, and then you can do well if you earn those tips. That should be the mindset. So if you go out, especially if, if, if you're not poor, like you shouldn't not be able to go out to dinner because you're poor because no, it's going to cost me 30 bucks more for a tip. I can't take my family. That's insanity. That's mental, you guys. That's not a good society. That's not helping other people. That's, that's BS. Now, if, if you've had a good month, if you've got a lot of money in your pocket, I strongly believe we should treat people like Jesus. We should try and encourage people. You go to a place and that waitress, she's giving you a smile. She's on it. She's taking care of you. Maybe, maybe even she wasn't that fast and you can tell she's having a tough day. Uh, yeah, leave a tip. I think it's good to leave tips. And so that's the contrast of me. I'm not like this super anti-tipper. I'm super being screwed over. I'm super machines like self-checkouts trying to extract money from me that's probably not even gonna help the people I want to. How much of that money when you're at the ATM when they're asking for a donation do you think goes to the hungry kids or the kids with cancer? That's what, I, I really like to know that because I don't think very much, which is why I don't give to those. Not because I don't care about people. So I'm gonna give tips a lot. I give tips a lot, especially down here, because don't don't be that gringo that comes to Mexico and they're going to be working hard for you and like, oh, uh, you know, this guy's going to give me a good tip and, and you leave them nothing, especially if you're a tourist, because they're looking at you like they're on vacation here. They have some money. Um, you know, this is their job, right? You can be a jerk by not tipping. Sometimes people that don't tip are jerks about it. That doesn't in any way mean that tipping should be mandatory or that you have to tip. But yeah, I think, do I think if you come to Mexico and you're visiting, should you leave your server a tip? Of course, if they did a good job. I think it's a nice thing to do and you want to encourage them. It's hard to be a server, right? I, I work with these people. I go out on the floor and I serve myself to see what it's like. And I have to do it in Spanish, which is even harder. Okay. So as someone who, as an activist who says, no way, no one's tipping me. And I'm certainly not giving your stupid self-checkout machine a tip. That would be stupid. I'm not that big of an idiot. But it's also someone that works with people and consults with people down here and trains people to give good service. Like I can see both sides, but a tip is never mandatory. And it's time, whether you live in the US or Canada or Mexico, wherever you are, when they put a tip on your ticket, you say, whoa, what is this? Oh, the tip's mandatory. No, it's not. Give me a pen, scratch it out. The tip isn't mandatory. If I want to leave a tip, I leave a tip. You don't tell me something's mandatory because that's bull. A tip is a gratuity and it's 100% voluntarily. <clears throat> that's what I have to say. <clears throat> about tipping. That's our main show for the day. Let's wrap this up. It's getting late. Stop the tipping madness. And by saying that, I don't mean stop tipping people that give you good service. Don't stop tipping the, 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 the 20 year olds that just brought a 300 pound couch into your living room, right? It's fine. Doesn't mean you have to, doesn't mean it's obligatory, but if you have the money and you're doing well, help them out because they're doing a grunt work job because they don't have a lot of money and because they're trying to work and not be welfare cases. Think about that, right? Think about people and put a human touch on it. When you guys give me super chats, it's just a tip, right? You're trying to support the channel. You're giving a tip for me being on here. When you, when you, when you are at a restaurant, is it obligatory? No. Should you do it sometimes? Probably. Ask yourself that, but you get to decide. 
And that's the main thing. Stop letting people put mandatory tips on their menus. I'm not saying you don't eat. Just completely ignore it. Be like, when they come like, oh, bring me the ticket. By the way, you're not putting a mandatory tip. Oh, it's on our menu. I don't care what's on your menu. You're not putting a mandatory tip. And if you put a mandatory tip and it's not scratched out when the ticket gets here, I'm not giving you any tip. How about we start doing it that way? Then the servers might actually start caring. Why is this on a menu? We're making people angry because we're not respecting them. Make the servers know it, that it will affect their tips if they don't respect you. Stop tolerating this self-entitled mindset. And 20%, it's getting ridiculous, guys. A tip is a gift for good service. Let's keep it that way. All right. That's all for the main topic. Peace out, you guys, and we will see you on the next time. Stop the tipping madness. Peace.